Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. In the realm of European defense collaboration, the Franco-German partnership has long been heralded as a cornerstone of strategic unity. Yet, recent developments suggest fractures in this alliance, particularly in the domain of armored warfare. Despite joint efforts to advance the future main battle tank, MGCS, project, Germany's clandestine pursuit of the Leopard 2AX poses a significant challenge to bilateral cooperation in this critical field. The Leopard 2AX, an enhanced iteration of the Leopard 2A8 battle tank, emerges as a formidable alternative berth from German defense industry ingenuity and Bundeswehr demand. Positioned as an interim solution bridging the gap between existing Leopard 2A8 models and the envisioned MGCS, the project not only signals Germany's readiness to safeguard its military interests autonomously but also poses a potential threat to the future of Franco-German collaboration. While the MGCS project symbolized a promising reinvigoration of joint Franco-German initiatives, Germany's unilateral pursuit of the Leopard 2AX casts a shadow over this partnership. It raises pertinent questions regarding the underlying motives behind Germany's divergence from the Franco-German path. Is it fueled by skepticism towards the timely fruition of the MGCS or driven by a strategic imperative to assert national sovereignty in defense procurement? The Leopard 2 AX represents more than just a fallback plan for Germany, it embodies a pragmatic approach to risk management in the face of the uncertainties surrounding complex defense projects. This divergence not only challenges the viability of the MGCS but also underscores the intricate dynamics between cooperation and national interests within the European defense industry. The implications of Germany's Plan B extend beyond mere military hardware. They reverberate throughout the European Union, potentially reshaping the landscape of European defense cooperation and altering the balance of power within the continent. Moreover, they underscore the perennial dilemma faced by European nations, the delicate balance between fostering collaboration and safeguarding national autonomy in defense endeavors. At its core, the MGCS initiative was envisioned as a testament to European unity and collective defense. It aimed to develop a next-generation main battle tank capable of addressing evolving security challenges while bolstering European defense capabilities. However, the emergence of the Leopard 2 AX complicates this narrative, injecting an element of uncertainty into the future of European armored warfare. As the Franco-German partnership grapples with the ramifications of Germany's divergent path, the fate of the MGCS hangs in the balance. Will it emerge as a beacon of European defense cooperation or succumb to the pressures of national interests? Only time will tell. Yet, one thing remains clear, the journey towards a unified European defense apparatus is fraught with challenges, and the road ahead may be paved with divergent paths and competing visions. That's all for now, see you later.